We're going to pull it back and we're going to let go and we're going to see if we can get all the way up to those clouds up there. Let's go! Yes, look at this. This is insane. Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to Minecraft Pocket Edition and welcome to a new mod showcase here on Minecraft Pocket Edition. So this is going to be the start of a new series. You guys have asked me to show you a load of mods in Minecraft and to play with some mods and this is where we're going to start today. So welcome to Minecraft Pocket Edition mod towers. This is going to be our building where we test our mods, we get all our mods and whatnot. So if you have any mods you want to see, make sure you leave a comment down below suggesting them and I'll see if I can get them done. These mods are available on the Pocket Edition and also on the full PC edition. So let's go in and see what today's mod is. So this one was actually the first mod I ever found uh, on Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is why I wanted to feature it today. And it's still a super, super cool mod. So here it is inside this box here. What does it have for us? Let's have a look. It has a bow and arrow. Yes, this is the fly. Let's take all the bows uh, and arrows. Sorry, let's take them all. Let's take them all. So this is the flying arrow mod, which basically turns your bow and arrow into almost like a magic carpet, which is pretty insane. I think we need to go outside to test this because inside it's probably a little bit dangerous. So let's get over here and have a look. Now, there is one issue with this mod, which I'm going to show you right now. So you have to pull back your arrow, uh, your bow as far as you can with your arrow in it and let go. And all of a sudden you'll fly. But as you can see, we got hurt. That is because we are in survival mode and this is not fully uh, tested yet in survival mode. And you can tell it hurts you. It hurts you real bad. Uh, and it nearly kills you. It takes away a lot of health. It's basically uh, being hit by an arrow and then you're falling as well from the arrow. So you can't currently do this in survival mode. So you need to make sure you're in creative if you want to play around with this mod. And simply get yourself a bow. You don't need to get the arrows in creative as well. And now we can use it to its full potential. So again, we're going to pull it back and we're going to let go. And we're going to see if we can get all the way up to those clouds up there. Let's go! Yes, look at this. This is insane. We can now fly as far as we want and we can go all the way up to the clouds, kind of go around the clouds and then we'll come back down just so that we don't get too far away from uh, mod towers down there. But there's also one really cool thing about this mod is this. Are you ready? So there's no door here, but with this mod, we can go straight through the wall. Because the arrow pierces through a wall, uh, you can actually create any door you want. So it's almost uh, like a little portal as well to the other side, which is really, really cool. And you can see we can just jump straight through the wall if we want to here and come out the other side. So what else can you do with this mod? So it's not just when you throw the bow, it's wherever that goes. You have complete control. What we'll do is we'll jump into third person mode and you can see what we look like when we are on the arrow. It's a little bit ridiculous, but are you ready? Are you ready, King? Let's do this. Yes, look at that. The arrow goes completely spastic. It gets thrown around everywhere. And we're simply sat on top of it, riding it like an absolute beast. And we can go wherever we want. Now, if you want to, if you want to, you can even target enemies. So if we find an enemy like that creeper there, we can actually go... Oh, we missed him. We can go straight into him on the arrow. So we can still attack people. Obviously, we have to be in creative mode, uh, but we can still attack people with this bow and arrow, except now we get thrown into them as well. Look at that. There we go. We hit the creeper. He's like, what? How did you do that? I swear you just flew over to me. It completely confuses them, uh, and it's really fun to do, especially if you're playing with friends on a uh, kind of server or, oh, there we go, or a LAN or whatever. To have this mod in place and them not know about it and you just get your bow and arrow out and fly away. It is so much fun and it's so funny seeing their faces when you just fly away from them. So there we go. We're just trying to take this creeper down. We probably won't be able to. There we go. We finally got him and we were able to fly straight into him. Oh, look at this. An abandoned mineshaft. Let's go down here so we can fly. Can we fly all the way down here? You need some really good... Oh, oh. Uh, 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 okay. No, we weren't able to. Now we're stuck. We're stuck down here in some blocks. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Go that way. Ah, there we go. So you do get thrown f uh, through a few types of blocks because obviously the arrow itself is smaller than you. So you kind of you kind of glitch your way through a few blocks, but it's so fun. Let's get back to Mod Towers and see if we can break through the door again. Here we go. We're going to go through a window. Let's go through the window. Yes. 
There we- No, we've fallen down! Oh no, we're in the floor! We're gonna have to get ourselves back out. So whenever you get stuck, you can just use the bow and arrow again, and you can get yourself out. So there you are, guys. There is the flying arrow mod. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button down below. The link will be in the description if you want to download it. If you want to know how to install mods on Minecraft Pocket Edition, put in the comment section, how do I install mods of? And also hit that like button so I know. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. No, we're stuck again. Peace out.